Hey everyone, it's Amanda here from Blogs by Jarvis, blogsbyjarvis.com. Today I'm going to walk you through some of the updates to the Jarvis document editor. Before we get started, I'd like just like to introduce myself a little bit for those of you who don't know me and tell you where you can find me and how I can help you. So I help you create remarkable content with Jarvis, the AI copywriter, and with Surfer SEO to help you plan and write your content so it's SEO friendly. You can find me via my blog at blogsbyjarvis.com or you can also find me on YouTube. If you're watching this on YouTube right now, you'll have a subscribe button down in the bottom right hand corner. So don't forget to hit that to find out more about what I do and how I can help you. If you're watching this on Facebook or if you're on Facebook, have a look for my group, Blogs by Jarvis, Blogging with Jarvis AI and join us in there. Now, if you are joining the Facebook group, there are a few membership questions to answer when you join. If you don't see those, you're probably viewing it on mobile. So make sure you do it from a desktop or from a browser on your mobile device. Those questions just help me connect with you a little bit better and understand where you are on your blogging journey or where you are with Jarvis and also help me verify that you are a real person just to help, the, help us keep the group integrity. So now we've covered those bits, let's have a look at the document editor. So if you're a Jarvis user, you may have noticed we have a new toolbar. So this replaces the floating toolbar that you used to get when you highlighted text. So now when you highlight the text, there's no more floating toolbar. All of those functions are now up here. So you can add your H1, H2, 3 as normal. You can do the bold bullet points, numbers and clear the formatting. But now we have two new buttons to add a link and to add an image. So let's add a link here. This is an easy one for blogsbyjarvis.com. There you go. The link's already in there. I've just pasted that in there. And that's now a link. Now those links will carry through if you copy and paste your content into uh, WordPress or uh, Wix or wherever you're pasting your content. But just remember, if you're using an affiliate link here, you must remember to go and mark your links as no follow or sponsored, whichever you prefer. There's two schools of thought there. Um, but this is just the link. So you must make sure to go through and edit those links. If you're adding an affiliate link, I recommend using Rebrandly for your links. And then you can change the destination of your links just in case your uh, affiliate portal has an update or something like that. So the next thing is to add an image. So we've already got a couple of images in here, as you can see, and I just want to show you a little bit more about how that works. And to do so, I'm going to pop into SEO mode so that you can see this is connected to Surfer. And I've used the Surfer content brief here. I do have another video on how to set that up. Um, you can find that on my YouTube channel. And I've used a surfer brief here just to start writing an article about uh, the, for the keyword, does magnesium help you sleep? So I'm, I'm already at a content score of 44 on 946 words. I haven't written anything. This is all the suggested content from surfer, but I just want to show you a little bit about the images. So at the moment, it's picking up on the fact that I do indeed have two images here at the top of the document but I'm gonna add another one that I've created in Glorify here for magnesium citrate. So this is going to be an affiliate article. So this is just um, an image that I've created ahead of time. So I'm going to add that image for magnesium citrate in here. And now our image number, did you see that move from two images to three images? So Jarvis is now picking up with that surfer connection uh, for your content score here, it is picking up the number of images. Now you can't add the alt text to the image here. So what I would suggest at the moment is that you just add a line of text underneath. So um, um, I'm going to put magnesium elements. Really, I can spell, I promise, magnesium supplements to help weak sleep. So that's going to be my alt text. It's going to remove the formatting from that because it's got an H1 on it at the moment. And I'm going to just add a little indicator there so that I know that's the alt text. 
Um, I don't want to confuse you because we use the indicator for Java's commands as well. So in fact, let's use something different. Um, I'm just going to use a percentage sign. There you go. So now I know that that's my alt text. The reason I'm doing that is because depending on your platform, when you copy and paste this out, your images may not carry across some platforms. I use Wix for some of my sites. That image isn't going to carry across. I have to, to um, upload the image separately in Wix. But obviously, we're inserting the image here, firstly, because, I mean, for me, it helps me with my um, my flow when I'm writing the article to see the images in place. And secondly, it helps us to judge what our SEO score is in Surfer. So by adding a placeholder like this, I have my alt text ready to uh, pop into my Wix platform. And also, I have a placeholder there, so I know that that's where that image is going to go. So those are the two exciting new updates. So you can add a link. So for affiliates, that's great because as you go through, you can um, add your links. For instance, if I've referenced something here in Wikipedia, um, so magnesium is a mineral, so I might go to Wikipedia, take the article reference for that, and then turn this into a link. So you can see now that's a link to Wikipedia. So as you're writing your article, if, you, you, if you've used reference links, you can add those in there as well. Of course, it's not just for affiliates. So those are the two exciting new updates. I'm pretty sure there's more coming soon, but I just wanted to share these with you um, so that you could see how exciting it is with the, the progress of Jarvis. And if you would like to try Jarvis, let me give you a quick link here. So go to go.blogs try Jarvis, um, try Jarvis. And next time I'm going to be ready with a really cool image with that on to show you. So thanks for watching. It's Amanda here from Blogs by Jarvis, blogsbyjarvis.com. Say hey to Jarvis. Your AI writing assistant makes it fast and easy to write content for your blog, social media, website copy, and more. Writer's block have you stuck? Not anymore. Now you can scale up content five times faster using AI. So how does Jarvis work? Once you're in, choose from over 50 different writing skills Jarvis already knows. Simply tell Jarvis about what you're selling and then press generate. Instantly before your eyes, watch Jarvis write content for you. Since Jarvis has read about 10% of the internet, it knows all about your niche and is trained by expert marketers to write emotional, persuasive copy. Do you want to write high quality blog content fast? Then activate boss mode. This lets you command Jarvis directly in documents like, Hey Jarvis, write a paragraph about aliens in the tone of voice of Joe Rogan. <laughs> Dang, look at that. Now you just got to make your edits, rephrase, and then generate your next paragraph. It's that fast and easy. Jarvis writes original content that's plagiarism free, optimized for SEO, and drives sales. That's why Jarvis is rated five stars and over 1,000 reviews.